Let me introduce on to the show Six Feet of Beauty and a beauty with brains. Welcoming on to Vidamate, the gorgeous Praji. Hi Praji, welcome on to my show Vidamate. Hello Kirti, lovely meeting you. Same here, same here. <laughs> uh, do you know the meaning of Vidamate? No, I don't. Okay, it's, it's actually a Malayalam dialogue. Uh-huh. That means like, I won't leave you alone. <laughs> <laughs> Even I won't leave you alone. <laughs> I am taking that as a warning. <laughs> so how are you? How have you been? I am great and I'm I... not six, I'm 5'11". <laughs> <laughs> I already don't get many actors, yeah. so let's be in the category of five. <laughs> <laughs> That's really amazing. So let me ask you, like, um, just we are in the mid of the day today. Yeah. So when you woke up and when you were like till you reached here, what is one happy thing or a happy note that you came across? Something a thought process or something that you observed that made you happy? Uh, so I I just recently met uh, this celebrity. Pooja Batra, yeah. and I have been a great admirer of her. And since the time I've become an actor. Uh, people always tell me, oh, you look like Pooja Batra because she's also very tall. Yeah, now I'm and, finding the... Yeah, and I got to meet her this time and I was very fortunate. And I met her and then I found out that how humble she is and how down to earth she is. And I think I, that made me really happy because, you know, being where she is, uh, she is extremely approachable and very, very sweet. So I think that attitude really inspires me that no matter how far you go, it is very good and an appreciated quality in a person that you are down to earth and very sweet to everybody around you. I can totally understand. I think you are one among that category of a person, right? <laughs> yes, but, Staying but, grounded. Yes, but these people also inspire me a lot. That's really amazing. And yes. I think like uh, you had one of the most amazing uh, event that has happened, the fashion event. Oh, I loved it. I can't tell you how happy I am because it's been a while. Uh, you know, I was, uh, because of a medical condition, I was on, on bed rest and then I resumed work with this show and with this event and with this trip and I'm super excited and uh, it was an amazing show I worked for this Turkish designer and you know I saw the red dress you you just look like a doll in that thank I mean, it you was so much thank amazing. you so much everybody loved it and I'm so happy to receive all those compliments and especially you know after I've come just come out of a physical condition uh, but everything went on really well and I'm happy and I'm more, you know, enthusiastic about my and work. And I hope your health is all good now. Yes, yes, all good. That's all really good. amazing. All good. Uh, as I told in my description about the tall, being the tall girl. Yeah. Tell me what are the tall girl advantages? Oh, there have been so many. Like I, you know, I started to play basketball. I became the captain of the national team because of my height. And, you know, because of the sport, because of my height, I actually got into basketball. And then I played netball and then, you know, uh, there is nothing extraordinary that you have to do in terms of dressing up, in terms of styling. You are anyway recognized and seen in, in public because you're so tall. And I've always been very proud of my height. You know, I never ever in my life have felt that, why am I tall? You know, yeah. it, it has never been like that. And... Um, um, so yeah, I mean, it's just something that you're gifted with. I can't I do anything about it, but then I'm really proud of it. And you're confident about yeah, that. Very that confident, concept. very confident. I was talking your Instagram and I could find <laughs> two things in that which I found very interesting. And one is that you are, you love wildlife photography. Oh yes. How did that interest initiate? How did that come over? So that happened during lockdown. So uh, during lockdown, I spent a lot of time in jungle and uh, I was in the forest. Mm-hmm. So I was clo- very close to the nature, spiritually, physically, mentally. And that is uh, when I realized that how, uh, you know, uh, you know, it gives you that peace. Uh, and it, it uh, you know, being away from the regular life, it gives you a connect with your deep within. You know, it's something very deep, to be honest, but... Uh, but I, I wanted to do it more often and I wanted to bring substance to it. So I thought that why not, you know, do something substantial with exploring nature. So I think capturing animals, uh, uh, jungle, wildlife, that is how everything began. Oh, but what is the best experience that you had while shooting? Like one particular thing that you can remember? Uh, oh, I, uh, you know, I went to Ranthambor and... Uh, uh, it was a great trip. I went for many safaris and there was, uh, we were obviously looking for, everybody's searching for tigers there. But there's, you know, out of four safaris, I could spot tiger just once and it, he was very, very far. And I could literally, you know, in literally in even in my camera, I had to zoom it on the screen to find out where exactly he is. But the entire thrill 
of searching for the tiger and of finding the tiger in the forest is really adventurous trust me i i can understand that yes. it's not like seeing in a zoo we're like of we course of yeah. course i mean that's where they actually belong yeah. i mean they like have a, every right to be free in their own space yeah yeah so does this thought process is one reason that you always sometimes you do this mobile detox or digital detox oh, yes. i have seen i have noticed that also yes. so is it also a way of like reconnecting with yourself yes 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 because what happens is um in our regular life these days everything is about social media and we are constantly on phone all the time we are looking at others you know honestly we'll open the phone for some work but we'll go on to instagram and then we'll go on to some other world exploring what others are doing you know i think the times earlier were much better when there was less of technology so i it's just a way of me reconnecting with my inner self of things i want to do and spending that quality time in things what what i enjoy doing yeah you know that's how we're going to reconnect with our own self and uh, hence the initiative and i keep doing it i mean I, I, on and off talking about this i found last day a very interesting quote that says 90s more memories less evidence because huh. now uh, when we are like we take a lot of pictures yes. we save a lot of things yes. but we don't remember anything we're like the uh, things that get so being true. saved in our mind is less and yes. the mobile yeah i have 64000 photos in my mobile wow wow <laughs> so that, you can imagine and you you know you don't even want to delete them if we don't it's, uh. it's 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 another headache for us and yes. i'm like which should i delete now or i don't have even the time to go past correct but Uh, if you ask about you about your childhood if i ask you you have a memory a very clear memory of yes, it right yes i think that's that's what is about reconnecting with ourselves right right and talking about substantiality mm. you have I, i mean i heard your tedx talk it's really amazing i'm coming to that but mm. talking about substantiality you have said that every year you want to do something that's substantial okay yeah. now standing in <laughs> mid june mm -hmm. is there something that you have accomplished substantially i mean which you can share with us so i'll tell you what my idea is so you know um when i was achieving things in my life in terms of my career since i've been very super ambitious since since the time when i probably didn't even know the meaning of ambition but i wanted to do something in life and i've always been very motivated extremely hard working you can make me work 24 hours so uh you know once when i was working after my mba i was working in a corporate company and i was asked to make my cv uh for the jobs job interviews and everything so i saw that there has been a pattern that every year i have achieved something so i made it made it a mission and a target that no year should should remain uh you know as if i have not achieved anything in that year it has to be substan substantial in terms of me uh taking that step up the ladder you know yeah. and it can be you know and every time situations and circumstances are, are not in favor but trust me if you are at it it might not be something monetarily but there there are so many other things which we can you you can do to basically upskill yourself spiritual thought process spiritual thought process uh, learning a new skill uh, learning a new hobby developing a new passion uh, or uh, reading and you know it can be anything that you enjoy and trust me it just you know adds on to your persona it just adds on to your humbleness in life towards life and towards people it adds on to the gratitude you have for everybody around you it it basically enhances you it makes you a beautiful person from within you know and that is i mean i'm sure you you are interviewing so many people when you interact with them that depth comes from inside yeah yeah so that's I where think, we connect it's not yes. the fact where i ask you how many films you did or what you did no yeah, yeah. it's this thought process that connects yes yes as a, as people like correct. as human beings correct. that connects and us. that is that is so important because um you know we don't know if we're going to see tomorrow or not it is so unpredictable we don't know how short or big our life is it's just that uh, you know every moment we're um intentionally doing something uh, to make somebody smile not to hurt hurt somebody not to say something to anybody which scars them for life so these are the you know few things which 
you obviously everybody has done it even i have done it in life but then you know there are situations experiences which helps you realize that how bad it is it had been for you and how bad it can be for others as well you know so we need to be a little sensitive towards how we deal with people around us and there are so many things which which basically you know adds on to to your learning and knowledge about life and which builds our personality in yes, that so way. true so true. and you have called yourself a destiny's child like yeah what come what how may i am ready to take it Be- um, destiny's child because i whatever i am doing in life is something that i never planned yes but is there some portion of your life that you actually plan and do like is there any segment that you actually plan okay i want to do this like that uh, so once i am into it obviously there's planning but then uh, destiny's child i'll tell you why because as a, as a kid i was always a good artist so everybody in my family used to say oh prachi is going to be an artist she is going to be a painter because all the time as a kid i was just painting writing and you know i was just into myself my mother would just leave me with uh, my colors my paints and sheets and i would be busy the entire day without disturbing anyone so that's what they thought but just because i was tall i was put into basketball and then basketball became my passion because we used to get a lot of time to bunk our classes yeah yeah <laughs> so mostly we used to be on the court and it used to be official bunking and uh, then it became passion and then i started playing for my state and then uh, i started to attend the national camps being one of the youngest players and i i was in under 19 when i was just 14 years old so i got a lot of good exposure in that way uh, in in sports and then you know um, sports may when i didn't see a career happening i focused on my education education so obviously you go into corporate after mba i was doing that and then all of a sudden this acting opportunity came and then i became an actor so sometime so it was an opportunity and i took that plunge and i took that risk with that one step to just try something new in life and i think that is something that changes you you know the moment we are ready to come out of our comfort zone is when we are ready to actually uh, bring that big change and surprise for our own self in our life yeah that is what i believe in yes i i i totally get that i was digesting that thought process because yes sometimes we just be in the same path and we are like monotonous there's no, no yes, growth and, and then and when we, we are irritated and then we are frustrated in on our own self and then we don't know what to do and then we are jealous of people who are doing good and then we think oh how they have come so it's just we are we should not focus on others kirti i think what is important is once you get an opportunity just give it a try you might just fail or end up learning But something but you tried correct you yeah. tried yeah. and you never know how it's going to be for you like for example when i got an offer for acting i didn't know anything about acting like i didn't even literally didn't even know who the producer is yeah i was that layman to the film industry because i'm not coming from a film background but uh when acting happened those 7 months of my life were the most beautiful time because i was mature enough to you know understand i have always been a quick learner so it really helped me so much and i enjoyed so much the the process of being into a new city from delhi to bombay then new work environment new people new profession everything was so exciting for me and then what i realized what, why i wanted to continue was my love for the camera you know what happens so uh, when if you ask me off the camera they prachi you know do some you know how actors are they literally bindas and they'll do anything and they'll dance and they'll make you laugh they'll act yeah i'm not like that i won't That's be probably on. able to do it off the camera but then some magic happens when the camera is on i am not uh, a person who is um, um you know who is scared or who is a little nervous not at all and that's what i experienced during my times when i faced the camera and i was literally thrown in front of the camera being on the national television on the world famous show yeah without any workshops or nothing else and whatever has been the learning is in front of the camera and i think everybody's journey is very different yeah and we are, we are not here to com- compare but take that one extra step or one a uh, step to that opportunity or you know taking that risk to experience something so magical and uh, while we are talking we are talking about the sports this thing uh, you you had retired at the age of 23 yeah uh, as a person who is in sports why do you always think like 
do you feel the career options for sports person in india is like kind of bleak yes uh, the uh, the kind of sp- i mean the sports which i was a part of yes uh, at that time specifically there were not much ca- career opportunities because i always wanted to do sports management and uh, there were not much options at that time though i went and did mba but then again i wanted to go and work for the sports companies but again they were not very uh, you know welcoming uh, for the same and then i you know took up a job at a us accenture, accenture us embassy oh, sorry uh, it's a us company basically uh, as a consultant i was working there and um, um, and then acting happened i mean yeah so career opportunity agar if it would have been there then i would have definitely stayed but yeah, what stayed happened back. is for good what you are here right now is yeah. like for a sports person fitness is very important yeah, so yeah. do you follow any particular kind of diet like i am a big time foodie uh, tell me and what? this is this is the this is the healthiest version of me you you are watching right now uh, but obviously i uh, the beauty is that i can any time get back to my fitness yeah. because uh, you know s- during sports time your body is built in a way you have that um, dedication in you i think that's what is needed and when i have to do it i do it so now i'm starting my journey after this trip um, so uh, starting my journey to become fit again uh, but yes i have enjoyed uh, my all body types i think this is how i'm blessed with i don't compare myself with with very slim girls or you know it's just that you're gifted with something and then you embrace it yeah and if you keep comparing yourself with others it's just it just you let yourself down and you you can't do much about certain things you're born with yeah it's as simple as that yes yeah and uh, your comfort food do you have a comfort food uh i i like to explore everything yeah but then um i really prefer homemade food Uh, yeah. yeah for me it's momos i mean when i'm feeling down i'm like okay let me order momos and i feel good about so, it so for me it would be um like i really like domino's pizza so you <laughs> yeah. know what happens is back in india uh so they there's this when whenever i order pizza on domino's they uh they have get the notification that i have ordered it and they make special pizzas for me it's amazing yeah. <laughs> and they're so delicious you it's it's unreal so i've never had such amazing pizzas what dominos uh, you know surprises me with so i'm yeah, I, yeah that's that's and, something and i really enjoy what malayali food you like malu food oh i love so much in uh, this thing i love i literally i tasted only i had uh, uh, this uh, mango fish curry ah uh, yeah uh, and uh, with appam Um, and then i really like kutta parotta yeah. with uh, the curries and the everything and, uh, yeah. and uh, i even ra- like biryani the small rice what yes, is it called yeah. jeera kashala jeera kashala now yeah. we are making <laughs> <laughs> and i even like a typical kerala rice the thick the, the mortar rice yeah, no which yeah. is very rare yeah, for people yeah. because they say it's very hard to eat like ha huh. yeah but you like that also. i i love that and i love uh, you know putting on in those gravies and then the papadam on it crushed and <laughs> having it with hands with achar and everything so i'm a foodie so i I, <laughs> i can understand when you are saying you made me hungry so yeah. i can and we were we started with your profile me stalking your profile and finding out two things so so we discuss one thing about the photography which is really amazing uh-huh. and the second part is your foundation okay praji tehlan foundation uh-huh. how did that initiative start because that foundation is for empowering women and children for edu- with awareness education and correct. sports correct uh, like how does the sports awareness help and can you give us a little insight into how it works so basically uh, i always wanted to do something for girls uh, since i have been a girl myself and i know how, what challenges uh, as in in society we face uh, you know and it's not just when you become a professional but it's from a very young age you know we you we all will relate with each other so it was always in my mind that i want to help these girls i want to motivate them to live their dreams i want to motivate them i want to tell them that what is it that you know your parents don't allow you to go out or you know they restrict you to do certain things i want them to be confident enough to make their parents feel confident to live their dreams you know i i wanted to reach out to them send across a message help them guide them 
so hence the initiative and uh, uh, for women empowerment i've i've started this project named as project savitri which is after my grandmom's name and she's very close to me and uh, the other project for uh, girls is project vidya and that is uh, by my uh, again grandmom's uh, name the paternal grandmother so uh, so i want to work on educating them empowering them that way and uh, i've just started working so i haven't been able to give a lot of time but i've taken that baby steps and whenever i get an opportunity i conduct these uh, workshops with them and uh, i sit with them we conduct a lot of uh, uh, you know sessions wherein we educate them so that is how and we start i i found that interesting quote which is like very famous empowered women empower women yeah. it's it's a very yeah. strong message yeah. how were you empowered like how did that start i think my journey really empowered me of being a sports person and it it's a learning you know some if you if you ask me um, i was obviously not like this 10 years back and there's so much learning that has happened and uh, i also look at my achievements but more than that i also look at my mistakes and i and i uh, and i think that how can i not repeat those mistakes and i uh, not repeat those foolish stupid mistakes that i made in my past but then uh, you know that's how life is no we want to feel vulnerable we want to be ourselves people uh, tell us no you know you should not trust everybody you should be a little smart and you, sh- you you're an actor you need to be in a certain way people are telling all the time people are giving you that advice of being a certain way and you know at times you end up being confused that what what are we really supposed to do yeah. you can't be yourself then how are you pe- how are you being authentic with people you know so i have come to this point that i am going to be myself it is on people how they want to perceive because uh my core because of my core because of my true personality is why people are attracted towards me it's why people want to speak to me it's why people like me it's why people uh you know want to meet and speak to me and share their thoughts with me or they feel a connection with me so that authenticity is extremely Something. important for me and the perspective of empowerment it mm. changes from person to person like my definition of perspective or my perspective of empowerment wouldn't be yours yeah what according to you is actually empowerment i mean i'm very keen to know i'm not just <laughs> asking for a question but i really want to know to be able to do what you really feel like doing which we said right now right yes. yeah to be able to feel the power the confidence the maturity that uh, understanding from within and then comes the family support and if you have that push you know there is one thing that your parents are against there one thing that they're neutral they are okay with whatever you're doing and there this third thing that they're really extremely motivating that you know you go and fly and i think i in the journey of 15 to 20 years of being into a professional career be it sports or now i have also transformed my parents with me they were not like that i am not from this entertainment background but then you know uh, sharing my thoughts with them taking them for some you know visits like my mom is here with me uh, for this visit and she's i think more than me she is networking with people <laughs> yeah connecting and uh, huh? i see everyone talking to her yes and she ha she is enjoying and then she is the one who is going and talking to people about work and what others do and i think uh, this gives her them the confidence that where the daughter is see i always tell girls the only thing that the family and the parents are concerned about is about is the safety of the girls yeah only the safety they don't they just don't want the girls to go in wrong hands they just don't want their girls uh, to to face any problem uh, that emotionally break them that's the only concern and that is for that is equal for both the parents be it mother or father and i think with sports awareness that could also be controlled to a limit of right of course of course because it gives you that confidence to carry yourself with with pride and to take care of yourself wherever you're going yeah so that is extremely important and if you're able to give that confidence to your parents at pet wherever you're going you're going Uh, with in with the right channel with you're going with the right people or you're going at the places which are safe for you i think the world is the platform for women yeah 
That's that's really true. That yeah. small and that is the only thing. Uh, I mean, this is very much personal thought with what I have experienced. But other than that, I don't think there's there's any problem uh, uh, parents would have that you know they would only want the uh, man or the boy in the family to grow and not the girl. Everybody wants their children to be successful in life. Yes. Um, taking you personally, yeah. you're an actress. you are a sports person hmm. an empowered woman huh. how hard is it to win your heart or win your trust <laughs> because i think a person approaching prachi will be like oh my god <laughs> it, it's a, it's a lethal combination <laughs> let me tell you that way uh i um uh it's, it's a difficult question <laughs> uh i think it uh, there needs to be a connect at an intellectual level uh and uh, you know when when you fall in love with somebody it's just it just happens you know and sometimes uh, um it's just a lot of chemical reaction that is happening that attraction and that uh, that vibe you get that connect you feel there are a lot of things but right now the focus is only on the on the career. profession on yes. the career yes yes let me bring the most exciting part of your career which yeah. i had kept for okay. the last okay <laughs> mama uncle ah, how lovely. can i not talk about it yeah <laughs> uh, so t- did you really dub for that like uh, that was my first thought process like did you dub in malayalam no i didn't you I... you had a a uh, person who dubbed for yes, you yes yeah? somebody else dubbed for me but lip sync obviously i learned my dialogues yeah uh and that is why nobody could tell that you know it's dubbed because the lip sync was uh, almost perfect so and even i re- i remember our director papitan coming and telling me oh mamuka was dubbing and then he said this girl has done a good job and i was and i'm very <laughs> excited because yeah. getting a compliment from mamuka it's always uh, you know motivating since you talked about mamuka yeah. with the number of interviews i conducted I could create a book on the testimonials on Mamuka's wow. uh, not him as an actor yeah. but him as a human being. Yeah, oh, so a, what was your experience? He's a lovable human being. I loved every moment of being with him on the set. I loved every moment of having a conversation with Mamuka. And uh, uh the best part about him is he's approachable. Uh, you message him, you ask him Mamuka how are you doing? he'll always respond he'll always respond to the occasions for festivals and you know um and um, and he's just there and he he has this aura around himself oh i'm a big mamuka fan so i'm going to be in awe of him <laughs> while talking about I him i can totally understand <laughs> no oh who has met him has this much of things to say that's the yeah. reason i said i could make a memoir of yeah. how many testimonies he's are so there. adorable he's so nice he's such a gentleman and uh, uh and he's so great looking yeah. oh god i'm in love with him and i still remember that time i we were promoting mamangam in dubai at sharja and uh, i was so overwhelmed with everything that i started crying oh. so i was so overwhelmed because you know i was a part of the project since 2018 start yes, uh, january yes yes and the project released in december 2019 yeah. so two years of me being associated with one project was a very long time and me being an emotional person i was just looking at that entire journey and then i was so overwhelmed overwhelmed that i started crying and i just couldn't stop kirti <laughs> i was i was taking deep breath because i i had to go to the stage <laughs> but i just couldn't stop and i went to the stage crying only and then i was crying and i then then i gave my speech and and then i said uh, that you know what, something that i really want to be in my life is i, I want to be mamuka that's i so, can totally understand yeah. you're saying i can get that feeling yeah yeah and for that movie you had gained around like as wikipedia says like 8 kg huh. or maybe more how huh. did you lose it my my thought process is like how did you lose those weight uh, again dieting i think dieting is something that works for me 80% <laughs> <laughs> yeah because you know uh, any kind of grain or you know refined sugars it doesn't really work go along with me uh, so i really have to cut on my food for that and obviously workouts are there to make you look more uh, i still remember i was shooting for mamangam and uh, this uh, uh ad went in, came into my vanity and he he was like prachi your abs are being seen on the on this thing <laughs> you need to get fat <laughs> <laughs> you need to you need to gain weight i was like okay no problem just give me two days <laughs> 
<laughs> not an issue <laughs> the reducing takes yeah, two it's, months it's too much time yeah 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 and gaining just took uh, you know uh, full uh, plates full of uh, kerala rice and some curries and then i was at Magic it is done. you had to describe yourself with something that is materialistic uh what would you describe us something that is materialistic yeah for you like personally if your personality if you have to describe in something materialistic that you use or uh you have something like for me it's like i didn't wear my watch today but it's usually my watch acha okay yeah. so you acha describing as in something that is very close to you and which you keep with yourself yeah okay um for me that would be but i think my diary yeah yeah i so i really like to be very organized journaling, so journal i i write journals and also i'm very and paper pen i really love I, like i yeah. love reading i saw that yeah. <laughs> with that question you uh, you asked but then yes paper and pen and then having my diary always with me something i really love so uh, what are your upcoming projects so uh, there are a lot of to- uh, you know talks that that are happening for malayalam tamil telugu and i am hoping that very soon uh, i'm i'll be a part of very good projects and uh, as i said that this is a start uh, from dubai and i'm so happy that you know i got to walk the ramp and uh, next day i also got an award for uh, excellency and it's always encouraging and i'm looking forward to do a lot of films we also look forward to see you yeah. may i ask like yes. when we check the filmography it's it's few movies have you consciously taken that break or is it because there have been that roles that you didn't you couldn't do or you didn't want to do in put in yes, that i've way. i've been very choosy in terms of the work i want to do like i i've been very clear that i want to do cinema that i can sit with my family and watch so that you know uh, makes the uh, uh, projects very few that is one of the reasons and uh, i've done uh, obviously uh, this uh, music videos and two shows for star plus and then there are a lot of events and there's so so much other than that photography and uh, yes. this foundation this and I keep full on doing of things that you're yeah, busy with busy but with. i have a wish for you that i really hope that you come in the malayalam huh? with a sports movie i really love we really even, want one even once even we I had 1983 and all for that uh-huh. matter but we want something more which is which is kerala i would love to do it i love you know uh, I, yesterday also i i met this producer and i was telling him so that i my love for kerala is something else because i made my debut down south opposite uh, mamuti sir through a malayalam film yeah and i spent so much of time in kerala and i love kerala so i want to do more of malayalam films is just that maybe you know uh, with mamangam being such a big film uh, people tell me that you know oh she must be unapproachable you know i have heard this before also uh-huh. like on my show artist telling this like yes. this unapproachable thought process is there yes and then they might they think that you know she might be very expensive and uh, uh, yesterday only i got to know that people have been quoting some price that this is how much she is charging but it is actually not like that i would love to be a part of good projects i would love to be a part of good films i this thing has always been in my mind that i want to work with good producers good directors good storytellers and um, um in whatever way i can uh, entertain my uh, entertain my fan base i would love to do that that's really amazing yeah. so thank you so much prachi like i really want to take the show more but my editor <laughs> won't like <laughs> he's just not going to let me because this is like talking in real like yes. i didn't have to think of what i had to ask you that's maybe. amazing and you were very well prepared i really appreciate thank it thank you so much part of my job <laughs> great to have you on the show thank you so much <laughs>